Hey everybody, welcome to Mortgage Today for Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024, and oh, what a day it was. UMBS were up six basis points on the open, not nearly enough uh, after yesterday, but at least it was green. S&P futures were down 23 points. The index of leading economic indicators deteriorated in September, according to the conference board. The index fell 0.5%, which was lower than the negative 0.3% estimate, and a downward revised negative 0.3% a month ago. Weakness in factory new orders continued to be a major drag on the U.S. LEI in September as the global manufacturing slump persists. Additionally, the yield curve remained inverted most of the month. Building permits declined and consumers' outlook for future business conditions was tepid. Bonds have been negatively reacting to the latest Fed speak, which has amounted to the Fed Fund's futures handicapping a decent chance one in three of only 25 basis points in cuts this year. Neil Kashkari said that long-term rates, i.e. R star, would be higher going forward than it was in the past, while Lori Logan and Jeff Schmidt emphasized that further rate cuts would be cautious and deliberate. Mortgage REIT AGNC Investment reported good earnings yesterday and sees better investment environment for government guaranteed mortgages. The outlook for agency MBS today is decidedly better than it was in 2022 or 23 as a result of the positive direction of the broader economy, the accommodative Fed monetary policy stance, and the ability of agency MBS spreads at these historically favorable levels. Overall, we have two competing forces in the mortgage market, a yield curve that is moving Moving from inverted to positively sloped and improving MBS spreads. That said, unless inflation returns, we are probably looking at lower mortgage rates once we get past the slow season, November through February. Bonds had a significantly calmer day in terms of day-over-day -day change. In fact, by the 3 p.m. close, both the MBS and Treasuries were close enough to unchanged. There was a bit of interday volatility that saw bonds attempt to stage a late rally only to give it up by the noon hour. The latest reminder that we're dealing with some asymmetric risks over the next few weeks. UMBS closed the day at flat-ish down two basis points we're now looking at the five and a half coupon because of that price on the five is just too low for consideration so close the day at 99.57 the 10-year is up at 4.210 don't even need to look at the chart because we're so far below any statistical lines or any technical lines that it doesn't make any sense and we do have a new post from our sponsor at wellthatmakesense.com, the reading notes from the secrets of Sand Hill Road. So understanding venture capital is a key to startup success. So if you're thinking about starting a business that's going to require some outside cash, Secrets of Sand Hill Road is the book for you. And you can see the notes on our sponsored website at wellthatmakesense.com.